In this chapter, we will learn specific issues as far as node availability, how the rack handles specific instances or nodes not being available, and what can occur in that case. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about the rack and as far as how it's configured. In a rack environment, we have multiple nodes sharing a common set of disk drives. So each individual node will have their own individual instance. So the database name will be something like ORCL, and on node one, we'd have ORCL1 instance, and on node two, we have ORCL2 instance. And the way this is all controlled internally is what's referred to as a voting disk and an OCR disk. The OCR disk stands for Oracle Clustered Registry, and this contains all of the members within the clustered environment. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and open terminal. I'm gonna set my environment to ASM1. I'm gonna do an OCR check. This is gonna tell me if the OCR is available, and if so, where does it reside? In this particular case, we can see that the OCR is available because it says that the data file integrity check succeeded, and it resides on the rack disk group. If I come over here and I do an OCR check dash H, I can see here that it gives me options such as OCR check dash config, which displays the configured locations of the OCR, and dash local, which is gonna tell me where the local registry is. If I run the OCR check dash local, I have to run that as the root user. So now if I do an OCR config, the OCR config command enables me to export the current OCR file and then potentially print that out. So I'm gonna expand on this just a little bit more. Let's go ahead and reissue this command. So we can see here that I can repair, I can overwrite, I can delete, I can add. I can also export this to a given file name and I can import them from a file name. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go do an OCR config dash export and let's write this to my slash home slash oracle OCR dot out file. Now again, I kind of did this on purpose because it barks at me and it says, wait a minute, you can't do this unless you are a super user. So I'm gonna switch users. I'm gonna set my environment variables to plus ASM. I'm going to set my environments to plus ASM one. That's what happens if you don't set the environment variable correctly. It sets it to a different location. So now let's do an OCR config dash export to slash home slash Oracle OCR.out. Now what it's doing is it's exporting all of the contents of the OCR to a particular file. That file is located under the home slash Oracle directory. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. You can see it's a binary file, but these are all of the components of the OCR, which is actually quite a bit. Here we have an ASM, my node apps, my CRS, so how does this deal with node availability, or what does this have to do with node availability? Well, there are two main components that control node availability. One is the OCR disk, and the other is the voting disk. Now the voting disk and the OCR disk work hand in hand. The voting disk goes out and performs a heartbeat check on each individual node within the rack. Well, where does it get that information? It wants to know what information or what servers are in the rack. Well, it would get that from the OCR disk. So let me exit out of my root command, CRS, CTL, query, CSS, vote disk. When I issue this command, CRS, CTL, query, CSS, vote disk, that's gonna tell me the names and location of the voting disk. To test for node availability, the voting disk will periodically go out and ping or check for a heartbeat of a specific server in the rack environment. If it finds that that node is there, everything is fine and no issues. If it finds that that node is not there, it will perform a node eviction. The voting disk and the OCR disk work hand in hand because the OCR tells the voting disk, hey, what servers are there? The voting disk will then go out and say, hey, are you really there? The OCR provides the inventory the voting disk looks at that inventory and then checks to see if that inventory is there. And if it's not there, then it's going to do a node eviction. If it is there, it is gonna go ahead and allow the rack to continue. So that's kind of how we deal with node availability. And these are the commands that we use to determine are those disks even available. 
So to make sure that we have an OCR disk, we're gonna issue commands like OCR check. The OCR check command is gonna make sure that the OCR disk is there. And then the CRS CTL query CSS command, or this command that we see right here, that's gonna tell us that, hey, the voting disk is online. This is its internal ID, and we don't really care too much about that. It's in this disk group, which physically resides on this operating system disk. In an Oracle 11G R2 environment, we will have one voting disk and we will have one OCR disk. In prior versions of the rack, we would have multiple OCRs and multiple voting disks. But in today's environment, in 11G R2 using grid infrastructure, you only really need to have one voting disk and one OCR disk. That's how the rack deals with node availability. It is the voting disk and the OCR disk that work hand in hand to determine if a specific node is available.